My next guests tonight are two award-winning journalists and childhood friends who have a new MSNBC series called American Swamp. Please welcome Katie Turr and Jacob Soboroff. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Of course. Thanks for now, having us. Uh, this is the last set of debates uh, before the rules change in September and it gets a little tighter. Who do you think made enough of a name for themselves or got enough attention tonight to sort of boost their campaign to the next round? I think it's not surprising. I think you have Warren, you have Sanders, Buttigieg is going to make it through. I'm kind not... of givens, kind of givens, givens there. I'm not sure about Beto. Any longer? Mm -hmm. I think he hasn't really made his mark. Mm -hmm. But then again, this is not for me to judge. It's for the voters to judge and the polling to judge. Sure, but you 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 watch you guys watch this a lot. Yeah. Of all of the white men uh, whose names <laughs> uh, whose names you can't remember, do you remember anyone's name from tonight? No, Did, no Delaney. I don't no. think so. Del no, but Delaney, Delaney because Delaney he got, got murdered. every other yeah. question. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. He did. And and Tim Ryan got slapped around a little bit like by he Bernie did. tonight. Yeah. Uh, kind of Warren went after Delaney and 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 uh, Bernie went after I Tim Ryan. I wrote the damn bill. Exactly. That's an excellent Your comeback. impression is better than mine. Oh, I don't know. Thank yeah. you. I think that's what he does for a living. Uh, I, I think that there's a, I think that there's a clear distinction between people who want to blow up the system and tonight people who said they want to work within it. And yeah. I don't feel like they got any juice tonight by taking on these two frontrunners, Warren uh, and and Bernie. Do you Donald, think it is two camps? I'm sorry. I, I do think so. I think Donald Trump won in 2016 by saying the system doesn't work for you. It's rigged. I'm going to go and fix it. Mm -hmm. um, and I think the Democrats have an argument that he didn't fix it. Mm -hmm. And going out and saying I'm going to return things back to the way it was before Donald Trump. I'm not sure if that's the argument to make to those voters who desperately want change. And I think right now that's the majority of voters who feel like they don't really like what's happening. But did this whole special actually said it is rigged. The system yeah, is rigged exactly. against you. Yeah, exactly. This whole special called American Swamp about how the system is set up right now to not work for you guys. And uh, to come out there and say no, don't worry, we'll be able to fix it within the constraints. I'm not sure that's a winning argument. I, I think Bernie actually set the stage and the table really well at the very beginning. What's going on across America is what Bernie said was happening tonight. He said it uh, very pointedly at the top. You got 500 thousand people who are homeless in this country tonight tens of millions of people without health care and i just don't see the american people who stayed home last time and delivered the election to donald trump because that's really who delivered the election to donald trump um, being fired up about somebody saying let's try to fix things within the system as it exists today um tomorrow night uh there's another debate you can t cnn put up the countdown clock it's all going right. already all right. <laughs> I think I think I think they've lost their countdown clock privileges. I think it's a huge <laughs> Do you guys use countdown clocks on MSNBC? I think we had a countdown clock for the American Swamp. They're, they're, no, I don't think they gave us a countdown no, clock. Okay. As a matter of fact, <laughs> Katie, you spent 500 one. days on the road. 510. With, 510. But who's counting? 510 <laughs> days on the road with Donald Trump. Uh, do you see anybody from from the debate tonight, or anybody you saw in the last two debates, who is a counterpuncher? like Donald Trump, who would uh, be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe and, you know, punch back. Well, I think Biden can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him with the name-calling and the, the one-liners. Um, but I, I'm not sure about policy. Donald Trump, again, ran on changing the system. And I think if you're going to peel off those voters who tried Trump, and maybe don't know if they still like him, you're going to have to come to them with an argument of how you're going to make their life better. You can't just say, I'm going to return it back to 2016. I also don't think it's a good idea to just go after Donald Trump all the time because Democrats already don't like him. Mm. They're not... They're not going to suddenly forget that they don't like him, so right. you don't need to do that. You wait for the general. For you need that. you need to talk about policy, and and I and I think Elizabeth Warren has a has a real shot to reach those voters who are dissatisfied with the system and aren't sure if they still like Trump. I think she can appeal to them by talking about her plans. Um, well, we have to take a quick break. We'll be right back with more Katie Turr and Jacob Soboroff and their new show, American Swamp. Stick around. <laughs> 